Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we have a review thing here and this has been sent from bestandfirst.com um, I think it's a Chinese company and they have sent me the Lefant F1 and it's a robot vacuum cleaner and I have a soft spot for robots I have since I was a little boy I have loved robots and I saw a Johnny 5 the robot that that got smart because it was hit by lightning it's old film from 1985 it was awesome and uh, Morton has loved robots ever since well he, he loved robots even before that but this is a robot vacuum cleaner and that gives me an excuse to make a video about vacuuming my living room awesome let's get this out of the Oakley box I expect that there's a pretty box inside I have a knife so um, fast forward pretty box Lefant, free move inside. Okay, um, awesome. Let's see what this does. Uh, this is a sponsored video. They sent me this for free, just to clarify that. So they have tried to fancy up the packaging and here is the software to download to uh, control this from, from the telephone. And there's a docking station, there's the robot, there's a picture and how all of this comes together. So, here we have different parts. Oh yeah, this washes the floor as well. So there's, there's kind of mops with it. It washes and washes. You, you put water in it and it, it, it wipes the floor. I don't know if it vibrates. The last one I got didn't vibrate, uh, like scrubbing the floor. But, oh, this is smaller than, I think, I think it's smaller than the ones I've seen before. Oh, and another floor wiper. Something to clean the brushes. And, oh, it looks like it comes with extra brushes. Uh, at least there's four of them. And on the picture there was only two. Uh, so probably extra ones. And we have, what is that? It's heavy. Some kind of magnetic bond. So you can stick some, some magnetic stuff to something. I uh, don't know what that does yet. Oh, the docking station. And then there is an air filter. Don't know if that's a spare. We have a charger. And it's an EU charger, so thank you. And it has a rather regular plug here. So, and there's a manual, which is always nice. Uh, cool. And then the box is empty. So let's get the box out of the way. So here is all the stuff. And I'm looking in the manual that says what, what should be in here. It says that uh, there's two air filters, but there's probably one already in here. So let's have the Lefant out of the back here. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was dusty, but it's the it's the thing that keeps going. They have that dusty snowy pattern from the box goes on to the robot here. Uh, where is the dust box? I am curious to find that. Oh, it's beneath here. Yep. Okay, we have a filter here. And that's the compartment for dust and dirt. Nice. Oh. Oh, it's magnetic. So that's pretty smart. And this is a metal. I think this is aluminium. Nice. And it has a couple of buttons up here. Nice. Um, let's check. So the charger is 19 volts and charges with one amp, 19 watts uh, input. And the voltage over here, the model is the F1. So that's, it's like Formula One. They're trying to, to lean against that. And it's from Xinjiang, definitely China. And it runs off 12.8 volts, which 
is probably three lithium ion batteries in series. But it doesn't, doesn't say the capacity here. As long as it vacuums the living room, I'm pretty happy. And it has two wheels with, uh, with shock absorbers or something. Nice, and it has a front wheel. Doesn't do anything uh, except stability. So, and yes, that must be extra fans because there is room for two of these. Okay, they look okay. And it doesn't seem to be a difference between right and left. Left or right. Right, left. Good. And yeah. Feels like it has its own little motor beneath it. And then there is there are sensors. There are sensors here, there, there, and there. That looks down. And probably we need to remove the plastic. There's a little bit Millennium Falcon over this. <laughs> okay. And we should prop up all the Probably when we take this off, all this nice instructions disappears as well. There's a button guide. I think I'll save this. I'll put it on the box. Okay, so I took the sticker off here and I put it on the box. And um, hopefully before I throw the box out, I will have needed all the buttons and know what they do. It, it, it says what the different stuff here. Long press three seconds, power on and off. Click, start, pause. Double click, recharge. So if it's low on power, you can double click and it will go for the charger. I think I need to power it before this makes perfect sense. I, I kind of like this detail. Instead of just a, a cable tie, they have put a little Velcro strip around here. I like that. These are way more reusable. And um, yeah, I like these in the data center as well. So that's a cool little feature. So we need to put some power on this. I don't know how just it came. So that's not, oh, that's a, that's cool. They have thought about that, better connection. The charging station. Um, it's more or less. It's just. It has the the power connection here, and it charges the vacuum cleaner, and it guides it in with some LEDs that lights up here, so the the vacuum cleaner can see those LEDs, and it will find it, and dock with it. Um, a nice little feature more is this cable guide. So when you pop in the power supply here, and if there is not very long for the cable to go. You, you can kind of put it in here and roll it up and that will be out of the way so that your vacuum cleaner don't mess us up in the cable. Uh, they should have they should have done something here because that thing does not want to go in there. That it uh, it's that thing come on. that thing should have been over there. Then that cable could have come in there and went in like that. So yeah already trying to improve it. Oh, and when you connect power to it, it lights up green. Nice. Okay, so I'm curious if it comes with any power at all. So we're gonna press the power button for three seconds. One, two, three. There, it comes on. And to go to the chart, oh, it gives me two uh, power positions. So it says two of those. And if we double click, it should go for the charger. Yeah, that's the wrong way, dude. That's, I'm not a charger. Okay, it's going for it, going for it. Wait for it. Yeah. That was kind of a success and it's pulsating in the power button. Uh, I think that means judging. So on the back of the robot, there's a QR code. So if I take my phone here, it's an, it's an iPhone 10 and set it to camera mode. It gives me a link, elephant, and I can download for Apple. Oh, you're out of view there. <laughs> 
uh, I can download it for Apple. There, get the fund. Get. I need to double click. And it will download for me. Okay, I have now installed this and um, sent all relevant information to Beijing. And um, now we can add our robot. So, plus. And does it find anything? Um, it, it, it has the F1. That, that's the relevant robot. Step. Power on. Um, we did that. Okay, that's just so. We have done that. Uh, we have powered on. So there. Next. Network configuration. So now we have to press both buttons. Uh, for about three seconds after you hear a beep the robot is now ready to the network configuration after seeing to I've heard the tone so okay let's press it we have done that let's go Next. Okay, so it showed me a map of where I am and I didn't actually want to share that with you. <laughs> so um, yeah, it uses the low Wi-Fi, which is important. We need to use that. And we need to connect to the Wi-Fi. So I'll give it the Wi-Fi password. So I think I have that done. Next. Okay, so now I have to connect to the robot's hotspot. And it goes to my Wi-Fi. And do we have the robot Smart Life? That's a new one. Let's try that one. Eh? I think that took too long. It is. Uh, it's it stopped. Yeah. Ready again. I am not able to get this working. I have. Um, well, I have created a 2.4 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi network. So let's let's press done here, and then the next button is down here. Next, and then we are supposed to go and connect to that Wi-Fi, which is the robot, which I have done. And when that is connected, I'm supposed to go back here, and it should pick that up automatically, which it does not. But luckily, if I have any problem, I can press this button here, which brings me to this white screen that does absolutely nothing. So I'm really happy about that. That, that brings me no problems whatsoever. Why it is good. I can't get this up and running. And I haven't got the slightest idea why. So I have a 2.4G network on my Wi-Fi which I have checked that I can connect to from my phone and I have created a Wi-Fi hotspot over here on my laptop which I'm able to connect to uh, from my phone and I'm also able to, well, this can connect to my Wi-Fi and share that but it also has a built-in SIM card which can connect to another network and I've tried that one as well and it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Unfortunately, I do not own an Android telephone, so we can't test that. But we can test if it um, if it vacuums. Are you gonna vacuum? It's gonna vacuum. So it's gonna be very interesting to see if this just goes randomly around, or if it uses a pattern. I think the software can, can map out the living room. No, we can see, oh this is smart. We can actually see down here when it picks up something. And we can also see the carpet going through underneath it. Uh, you're probably just getting the reflection. I do like my robots. Looks... Yeah, it... 
looks like it's mapping it out it's just doing it in a weird angle and it's under the table almost done with the living room here and you can see over here at the fireplace where it has been and where it hasn't been because it was a bit dusty over here fireplace has become dusty and it's smaller than my regular robot It's going to be very interesting to see how much it has collected when it's done. Let's see, driving next to the uh, iLife robot over there. Yeah, there is a size difference. So this is a this is a tiny bot. <laughs> it is kind of cute. <laughs> Pushing the big one. <laughs> Get out of the way! <laughs> okay, cute. Do wonder if it's done. I would really like to see it dark. Yeah, it's going to no. Is it going to dark? Hunting the chair down. Nope, not ready to dock yet. But it has really, I think it has taken this three times. So it has done the under the table thing. So, not too bright. So, information in the manual here is available in English, German. French, Italian, and Spanish. So, uh, eh. when I'm looking at it, I can't really see that it has picked up anything. Uh, I wonder if there is some plastic thing that I should have removed and it has just driven around collecting dust for half an hour. That would be fun. Well, I see. I think it just runs until it uh, needs to charge, so uh, I think we'll stop it. And let's see, double click to have it go back to the charger. Let's see if it finds the charger. Go find the charger, not that way. It's over there. Mm -hmm. You're getting warm. Oh, it, it does kind of look cool. It's like the space shuttle. Space pod. And it's judging. So let's see if it picked up anything. That 
we need to throw up. Should be in here. It did pick up something. To the kitchen to see all the good stuff that it has picked up. Uh, oh, it opens up that way. Okay, so it has actually done a really awesome job picking up dirt from my carpet in there. Uh, yeah, it always looks very, very dirty when you see this. That's the size of a small dog, right? <laughs> very small dog, maybe a hamster. It most definitely sucks. Cool, I'll throw that out. Okay, so we can put the the thing back that's easy that magnetic thing is kind of brilliant so I think we can easily let it run once more uh, so let's just start it go work for us Okay, it's a little bit later. Uh, I had family visiting, my mom and my mom's husband, and we have been out eating, and, and the robot was vacuuming while we were out eating. And uh, let's see how much it has done. It's always good to have the family visiting. We, uh, I invented a new game, the family edition of Chop of Firewood, and uh, yeah, we did that. <laughs> it's good to get some help and uh, work together. So let's see, looks like we got a quite a bit again so let's bring that to the kitchen and throw it out no it's not nearly as much this time but it's still a fair amount of dirt in here there is a nice layer here so definitely not a waste to have it run again okay it has been running for at least an hour now so now i think we'll Tell it to go to the charger. I like the docking procedure. Okay, still confused. Wrong way. ready again at the garbage can so let's see what we got oh it has collected quite a bit it has run for hours so it should really collect quite a bit I think the robot has driven approximately four hours in my living room today it, it can't all be wear and tear on the carpet we really have much of a look at it before we set it to work um, it's a small unit there is a fan blower here on the back I see that and I can move that around oh it's pretty dark in here and it has collected quite a bit of anti-static dust here on the front of the Millennium Falcon or the Millennium Falcon that's the back of it uh, there is that power on and timer button there it has kind of like a timer thing and on the bottom here it has some rubbery thing uh, so more or less it just pushes the dirt over here where it's gonna be sucked up and then there is some rubbery thing when it drives over it it really I think it might try to make the dirt jump up when it goes by there not really that sophisticated on its tree goes it did pick up quite a bit of, of junk so good results there I do have another robot vacuum cleaner so I think we should try and let that 
uh, now that this has run three times and four hours see how much the other one will pick up after this one has been doing its job this is my regular robot and I just made sure that the chamber here is is kind of clean there's not a lot of it's it's there's a little bit uh, but yeah just to check the amount before we start it and we'll pop that in and let's have that out have I turned this off okay I have had this disconnected for quite a bit so it was um, it wasn't charged at the moment but now I have charged it for probably an hour so we can have it run and we'll see if, if the other one did a good job yeah this one talks okay it's done so uh, this one doesn't it, it goes over everything once and then it returns to dark so we're gonna take the the dust compartment out of it and we're gonna see uh, charging the start soon see how much the the little sucker missed so here we are let's see yeah there is still s my floor is still dirty in there so what do i think of this <laughs> little sucker the lefant f1 um i think it has a nice form factor i am kind of disappointed that it didn't do a better job this has been running for four hours in here um three different runs and still the other vacuum cleaner was able to use 10 minutes and pick up the amount that you just saw this one runs kind of randomly and it keeps going until it's uh, more or less runs out of juice and goes to the charger whereas the other one just runs over everything once and that was the amount that it picked up this one it does not have the rollers in the bottom of it and the my other one has that and that seems to work decent so this one well it scrapes things into the middle and it sucks it up and apparently that's not as efficient as the other system i have not tested this uh, wiping the floor thing i don't think it's really necessary it's not it's not very sophisticated you kind of just take one of these and you mount it in the in the back here and then it it wipes that around on the floor uh, they do also include some fast dry without any water stains and i just open one of them and smell them it's some kind of cleaning detergent uh, but more or less it's, it's this but with cleaning stuff on it i had real difficulty and never managed to get the wi-fi working on this so yeah it doesn't get many points on that either so but yeah it looks cool <laughs> it's not as if it doesn't work it just kind of sucks less than i would have expected it to do and the the big sucker um well it did a quicker and faster job of it and it still got a lot of dirt out of here well this little sucker here <laughs> it it ran for hours and hours in an end and this is i just found this on amazon and it's 329 dollars so it's not a cheap unit it might work better on in non-carpet but well i have carpet i need a vacuum cleaner for my carpet so it's not really an excuse it has to work good for both so um would i recommend this mm, now nah, i would probably i want one of those with the rollers underneath that will roll and pick up stuff and then suck it up i believe those work better but that's just my opinion um, but I do want to thank uh, Best and Fast for sending me this Lefant F1. It has most definitely been a very fun video to make and I got my living room cleaned really well. Well, it could probably do with a bit more vacuuming. It's amazing that it just can keep picking up dirt uh, vacuum cleaners like that. I remember when I did the first review and the carpet was almost new. I thought it's not gonna find anything it's gonna be a bad video and that did not happen it picked up a lot of stuff so uh, most definitely I do recommend a robot vacuum cleaner 
I, I just like the one the, that turns around here and it's as if it picks up more. I do believe that the suction in this is quite okay. It's, it sucks okay. <laughs> Little sucker! It's just not touching the carpet enough to actually get the dirt uh, kind of moving so that it can suck it up. I hope someone found this interesting and I'll of course leave the links in the description if you want to go check this out and I do encourage you to go check it out and maybe look at some of their other models. I am impressed with just how many robot vacuum cleaners there are on the market. There's a lot of them. So um, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.